This statue of Einstein look exceptionally real. Einstein is undoubtedly one of the greatest scientists produced by planet Earth. However, he hardly paid any attention to his looks. Almost never combed his hair, never wore socks. Also, there is an interesting story about his mother who was extremely worried because Einstein was born with an enormous head and she thought that she has given birth to an abnormal baby. No one at that point knew that one day this abnormal baby is going to grow up and become one of the greatest minds of all time. Arnold Schwarzenegger's statue too was very well made. For an immigrant who was initially known primarily for his ability to lift very heavy things, Arnold Schwarzenegger has had an incredible life that has included being one of the biggest action stars the world has ever known as well as serving two terms as the governor of California. Despite being from Austria, he is the human embodiment of the American dream. However, I wish the museum people had given him a right size jacket. Now as you can see, this is a lady with a long tongue. Let me correct myself, a very, very long time. I wonder what its applications are in real life. Moving on to one of the greatest entertainers of all times. No, it's not Psy, it's Michael Jackson, the king of pop. I have been a huge fan ever since I was a kid and it was my lifelong dream to watch him perform live. But sadly, that didn't happen. Now it's very difficult to make a statue about a person whose face kept on changing every six months and Michael Jackson was like way ahead of the line when it came to plastic surgeries. So this statue was quite good. Although I have seen better Michael Jackson statues, but I felt that the side profile of this Michael Jackson was bang on target. You must be living under a rock if you don't know who this man is. Shortest forward in the world. Youngest player to be nominated for the FIFA World Player of the Year. First player to win the FIFA World Player of the Year four years in a row. Diagnosed with Growth Hormone Deficiency Syndrome. Most hat-tricks scored in Barcelona. First in the world to win three European Golden Shoe Awards. First football contract was written on a napkin. Met his wife when he was five years old. World record holder for most goals in a year. It's messy. Amazing work by the wax statue makers. It's a wonderful statue and I thoroughly enjoyed clicking pictures with it. For all you Cena fans out there, there was also a statue of John Cena. Though personally, I'm not that much into WWE, so appreciated the work of the statue and uh, this man is quite well built I must say and uh, there was this lock hanging around his neck with a chain which seemed quite heavy um, and there was this belt uh, the WWE belt you can also get your photos clicked with all these statues uh, for an amount of 300 rupees by professional photographers well moving on there were a couple of surprises along the way like this security guard who had dozed off on his job Trust me, he looked very real when one of the lights were off. <laughs> then there was also a statue of Barack Obama, though I was hoping for a statue of Donald Trump. For all you history buffs out there, this man was one of the turning points of democracy all over the world. Quite a controversial public figure and quite a well-made statue. Then there was also a statue of Mahatma Gandhi, there was also a model of a charkha, there were also Mahatma Gandhi masks which you could use to liven up your photographs. <laughs> they really paid attention to minute details like this pocket watch which looked quite interesting. Queen Elizabeth statue simply look lifelike, especially when you look at the eyes. Also, you get uh, all these props uh, which you can use to, you know, liven up your photographs. There were also a couple of original photographs of Queen Elizabeth when she was young. Then there was also a statue of Bal Thakre, the Shiv Sena Supremo, a man who was single-handedly responsible for shaping the politics of Maharashtra in the 90s and his party still continues to be a very powerful force to reckon with. He was known to be fearless and a tiger-like personality. The statue of the Pope was also well made. Now that's the smile you get on your face when you have billions of dollars in your bank account. However, with Bill Gates, it's not just about money because he genuinely helps a lot of people all over the world, helps in eradicating a lot of diseases 
Apple recently hit a stock valuation of $1 trillion. It became the first company in the world to hit a stock valuation of $1 trillion. And it's all because of the vision of this man, Steve Jobs. The man has ceased to exist, but he gave the world a vision, which is continuously evolving day by day. Now then came a statue of Harry Potter, which I think is one of the most renowned fictional characters to have ever been created by an author. And uh, this particular statue, it was the initial Harry Potter that you saw on screen or in a book. Here you even get a cloak, a hat, a wand to be used as props for kids in order to click pictures. This is a statue of the tallest man in the world. His height is said to be 8.5 feet. And there was also a statue of a shortest man in the world whose height is around some 2 feet. Another surprise element along the way, a paparazzi statue, which was very well made because I initially thought that someone was taking a photograph, but he was so well made. There was also a big mouth man with a can. Long neck man. Angelina Jolie's statue looked extremely hot. I have no words. <laughs> it was a scene out of a movie, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and there was also Brad Pitt, but I didn't pay any attention to him. I'm not gonna lie, they really messed up Brad Pitt's statue, so that's the reason why I'm not including him in this setup. I had a lot of fun shooting pictures with this statue because it's Bruce Lee's statue, and it's supposed to be dramatic and action-oriented, but on the other hand, I was making a comedy scene out of it, and <laughs> that's the reason why I had a lot of fun. They really went wrong with Sylvester Stallone's statue. I am not even sure if it's a wax statue or a plastic statue. Um, on the other hand, Bruce Willis' statue was one of the best statues I've seen because uh, the amount of similarity that I saw uh, is impeccable. And uh, I enjoyed taking photographs with Bruce Willis because Die Hard is my favorite action film. Now, as you know, my channel name is Swappy Bond the Biker and the Bond over there comes from James Bond because I'm so fascinated by the entire series that I need to have something of it in my work. So I, that's the reason why I just put the name there. And I am a huge fan of Daniel Craig. And fortunately enough, there was this statue of Daniel Craig. Though I don't think that the hair really matches Daniel Craig's hair. They went wrong with the hair, but otherwise his eyes, his face, it was all very similar. My name is Bond, James Bond. So I was quite happy with it. Towards the end of the museum tour, you can post your reviews on these little posters which are then pasted on the wall. a model of a transformer over there, Bumblebee to be precise. I wish it transformed into a car right there and then. It would be quite cool, right? exit the museum I think this is a very nice installation and you should definitely visit this place it just costs about 300 rupees per ticket if you book it online you'll get 50 rupees off uh, from their website so anyways guys thank you for watching this video now I'll go and have something to eat or drink because I'm very hungry and I've been uh, clicking photographs and shooting this video for a long time and I'm really drained so here we go so anyways guys do like share and subscribe to my videos and do follow me on instagram and facebook and also don't forget to hit the bell icon this is swabby bond the biker saying goodbye to all of you bye bye